a question we get all the time is, does the body have the ability to heal itself? And the answer is, absolutely. Let's take an example. If we cut our finger, if I get a little cut here in my finger, right? I don't have to do anything if it's a small cut, and my body has an innate wisdom, an innate ability to actually, it's programmed to heal itself. Now granted, if it's a big cut, I may have to put some stitches in, but all that really does is optimize the healing by pulling it closer together and making it easier for my body to do what it does best, which is heal itself. So what can interfere with our body's ability to heal itself? I mean, how do we end up with a lot of these health conditions and chronic conditions that last for years and years? Well, we have to look at what the body needs to heal, and we have to look at what can interfere with the healing. If we address both, as we try to do in our office, then the things get out of the way and the body actually begins to heal itself, no matter how long you've had a particular condition. So let's look at what can interfere with that. For the example here, the very first thing that can, we need is we need good communication from our brain to our body. So if I said to you, what controls your entire body? Most of us would say the brain, or the brain and the nervous system, which the nervous system is just the brain and all the nerves that come down your spine and exit and go to all your vital organs, muscles, etc. If there's interference from the brain coming down anywhere that that comes, down the neck, down the arm, to the finger, then the either the message may not get to the finger or the, the fact that you have a cut there may not actually get back up to your brain. So the brain may not even be aware that that's going on. So that's a key vital point. That's actually the hallmark of what we do here in chiropractic. Ensure that the messages communicate 80% of all health conditions seem to improve when you restore proper communication to and from the brain. Then we've got things like oxygen, making sure that we've got enough oxygen getting into our cells, getting into our body. Uh, part of that is gets improved by movement and exercise, makes it more efficient, things like that. When we don't move, it becomes less efficient. Things like water, or if you're dehydrated, then the cells don't get what they need as far as water and help to detoxify and cleanse our body. But it also, besides for that, also makes your body more electrical. So our cells communicate through electrical impulses. The more we have enough water, the faster and more efficient that everything can work and everything can heal. Our body needs proper vitamins and minerals. The soil's been depleted for a long time. Uh, an apple today is not like an apple was 50 years ago. So it's really important to supplement with vitamins and minerals to make sure we have what we need to heal. We need good protein, healthy protein, hopefully without antibiotics and hormones. Good fats, healthy fats. Our brain is made up of a lot of fat. It's a misconception to be on a low fat diet. We actually need good fat. We want to stay away from bad fat. The bad fats are the hydrogenated fats. We need sunlight. Sunlight is actually vital for all life. So that's really important. Sunlight gets kind of a bad rap, but like anything, too much of anything can be bad for you, but we need a certain amount. And we actually need positive thoughts. They've actually proven that when we think positive, we boost our immune system. When we think negative, we actually decrease our immune system and our body's ability to heal itself from anything. So that's really important. So when we look at what can interfere with it, we look at what can interfere, the nerves, the muscles, the fascia, all those types of things can interfere with the messages. Electromagnetic pollution from cell phones, Wi-Fi networks, things, new thing. Now that actually helps to interfere with our body's ability to heal itself. We talked a little bit about nutrition. We've got more and more things with allergies. Chronic allergies can interfere with that. Emotional stress and toxicity. Toxicity is a huge factor where toxicity can actually, uh, toxins can bind to what they call receptor sites in hormones and in neurotransmitters in different parts of the body. So even if you have everything you need, if your body's toxic, it interferes with your body's ability to carry out some of its normal functions with hormones and certain other body parts. And then the body can't function right, can't communicate, and it can't heal. So what I want you to be left with, we're going to have a, more videos on each component that I just mentioned, but as a general rule, the body can heal itself, it does heal itself, you've just got to give it what it needs to heal, and you've got to remove whatever is in its way, and then let the body do what it does best, heal itself.